the new Extreme Dash Sets pop-up. And for this review, we're going to be looking at the Hallway Elevator pop-up. This thing is amazing. It's packed full of detail and full of some crazy camera angles for all your toy photography and stop-motion fun. With that being said, let's go ahead and get it unboxed and see why this thing is off the charts. All right, guys, I am back, and let's go ahead and look at everything. The first piece I want to look at is this door right here for the hallway. As you can see, it has a number on it. A very fine detail, and the cool thing over at Extreme Sets that they've done is they've allowed you to have an open door. Now, on the back, you may have noticed a little different thing here on the back. That's just to provide st stability, excuse me, and make the piece that it's printed on just be a little bit stronger. As it relates to the front of the item, I like I said, I love the detail. It looks very nice. Love the design pattern here. Very, very cool to say the least. Now we move on to another doorway here. And that's looking pretty good as well. I haven't actually folded this door yet. But as you can see, more detail, marks, graffiti, designs, cracks. All of it looks very, very nice. Now the next piece that I want to show... It's this empty cutaway of the hallway. And I'll be talking about that more in a bit. This actually goes to the elevator. I'll explain how this all works. Moving on, we have a smaller piece here. You can put this in front of the elevator to give yourself a secret compartment or something. And it fits in just nicely. And then we have a smaller hallway piece for your corner. That way you can have a figure standing in the corner and uh, looking down the hallway. And I'll show that more as we go along. And then the hits just keep coming because we have another doorway here uh, with a different number on it with even more designs. It definitely looks very cool to say the least. And then, I believe this is the last doorway piece. As you can see, even more designs. All of it looking very, very nice if I say so myself. But if that wasn't enough, we have floor panels here. And these look very nice. Now you get three of them. They're all designed a little bit differently. Same concept, just with different markings on them and such. And they all look fantastic, if I say so myself. So, there's that. And the next part I'm going to talk about is the elevator. I'm actually going to go ahead and start setting up the hallway. And I'll explain the elevator a lot more in depth. All right, guys, I've went ahead and done one sort of display option you can have with this pack in terms of what you want to do in terms of toy photography display purposes or even stop motion work. As you can see, we got a door in the back, we got a door on the side, and we got a door on the other side with it being open. This is very cool to say the least. And I've only used two of the three of the ground pack pieces to help give that effect and kind of bring the pop-up to life, if you will. And I have to say, it absolutely looks fantastic. It flows very nicely. I just love the environmental feel of what's going on here. And I haven't even added any props or, you know, pieces of trash or anything. It just looks really, really cool. And just to give you a feel of how big of a space you have, I'm going to just go ahead and lay this Deathstroke figure in while bumping the camera, if I can get him to stand. And he's a 6.75 inch figure. And a lot of room to play with. I mean, you got a lot of cool options here. Let's just zoom in here so you can get even a better idea. I mean, you'd be set with just one panel, but you turn it another way. You got a whole something else going on. And same with that way. Just all in all, it's very cool. And this thing is really off the charts. I, you'll hear me keep saying that. Because this thing is really a lot of fun to mess around with. Let me go ahead and stop the video right here. Let's bring in the elevator piece and see what awesome stuff you can do with that. So bear with me just a moment while we get that all set up. All right, gang. Here is the outer layer to the elevator, if you will. As you can see, it's done in this nice gray, beat up, kind of dirty metal color. You got buttons for the outer layer along with the elevator symbol up or down. And it looks like this elevator is definitely going up. You also got two sliding doors. They are removable. but And they slide in and out. But that's not the best part about this thing. Because if I take this part out just for a moment. 
I want to show you guys the inner layer of the elevator that's going to fit inside the box. You got some great details with the panels. Even on the top, it's got a detail on it. I just want to show you guys something that's really cool. If I can get the lighting to work properly. Let's see here. What type of figure should we use? We'll just use uh, what's his face from Arrow here. We'll stick him in the front like so. And if I bring the camera in closer and zoom in, look at this wonderful shot you can create um, before you stick the elevator in the bigger box. That's just really, really cool. I'm really digging that a lot. Let's go ahead and put the elevator together real quick here on camera. So guys, as you can see, there's the elevator piece and let's go ahead and put the whole thing together. So what we're going to want to do here, if I do it right, we we'll want to fold the box in like so. And you kind of want to do this as carefully as you can. And then just slide it in. Fold it over. that's sticking upright we'll shine some light in there and as you can see if the camera will focus with us and it's having a hard time doing so I don't know why let's see as you can see the elevator is fully complete now if I bring it back a little bit and bring the camera down what you have going on here is a fully breathable world that works pretty awesomely and then we just take our doors, and the easiest way to do that is just slide it in like so for one side, and then open it up on this side, slide it in, and voila, we got that action going on. Now that would be cool if it was just like that or not. I'm going to stop it real quick, and I'm going to show you how to fully set it up with some really cool features. All right, gang, here we are with the elevator set up with the corresponding piece. I remember earlier when I was talking about how it had a hole in it so the elevator could fit in. Well, if you really wanted to, you could even make this a secret passageway and even cover it up. And voila, you got a wall in a wall. So that is pretty cool too. I mean, the possibilities with this pop-up in terms of getting your toy shots in are going to be tremendous to begin with. This thing really takes it to another level, and I can't speak highly enough about this thing as possible. I'm going to show you one more cool thing you can do with this thing, and then we're going to wrap it up. Guys, here we are with another display way for your pop-up, if you will. Now, what I went ahead and did was take the elevator out and just put a back panel up against it. That way you can make the hallway area seem bigger and stretch out even more. Imagine if you had the space to buy multiples of these to create a whole apartment complex. It would be pretty interesting, to say the least. I'm digging this. I'm loving it, and I think it's great, and I can't wait to play around with it with even more shots and See what I come up with. I mean, I've just scratched the surface with this thing. And I'm very excited about it in case you can't tell. So, I actually lied to you guys. There's one other thing I want to show you guys before we wrap it up. And then we will call it a day. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Alright guys, I am back and here we are with our last piece to show off. As you can see, we have a corner panel set up and I already put a diorama piece of a bookcase in there. And I got our action figure in front of us. What you can also do, and I think this is very, very cool, is you could create a room out of this with just two pieces and a floor panel. If we zoom in here, we got our figure inside. We got the bookcase in there. We go down to the other way. We got tons of room. How cool is that? I mean, that's, to me, it's just really amazing and very satisfying. So the bottom line is, guys, when it comes to this pop-up, there is a lot that you can do as far as your imagination will take you. From the elevator piece itself to the hallways, to even creating a separate room, it is definitely worth your hard-earned money, and I can't recommend it faster, stronger, or better enough for you because it's that cool. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Once again, thank you for stopping by and checking to see what's going on over here. I sincerely appreciate it, and... 
Hey, I get it. You guys watch a lot of videos of toy reviewers and stuff. I'm not the most popular. I'm down at the bottom, okay? Uh, hopefully, if you decide to make a purchase with this product, you'll fall in love with it like I have. With that being said, though, I have a ton of links in the description below. I got Big Bad Toy Store. I also have Extreme Dash Sets where you can pick up this fine piece of pop-up art. Also, Head over to UndercoverCapes.com for all your podcasting needs. And on Instagram, come join in the Toy Photography Fun at Toy Lover Crew. Guys, slideshow at the end. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, great googly moogly.